lot of other, you're seeing a lot of upward pressure on wages today. All right. What does that mean? Well, you couldn't hire them at the wage that you had offered previously, or you can't keep them at the wage that they're at. So you're flushing additional capital that is then taxed. And then your net is less than the employee would really like to see. And they're still paying $5 a gallon for fuel. And Jane still drives 50 miles and Joe still drives 20 miles and nobody lives next door to their job. They just don't, right? So we drive and we're just tackling the wrong problem. So the companies that are recognizing that the problem is that they don't have the data, they wanna make decisions from data, they know they have to pay for and acquire data, they might as well pay their employees for the data and they might as well do it on a tax-free transfer basis by advertising and planting trees and, and giving that employee an interactive experience. And then, wow, this mobile mentorship thing that we've talked about is so powerful. So I see it happening every day. And then the GNRC project, at least as it relates to Nashville, comes along and seven counties surrounding the city of Nashville have all now every single open to the public, every commuter has a chance to hitch. You know, on-demand transportation is fantastic, but nobody can afford an Uber for a 20 mile commute on the way to work and a 20 mile commute on the way back. It's just, it, the, 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 the transportation option isn't there. And if it were, you can't afford that either. Mm. So you gotta think differently. And we are thinking differently and we're ready to go at scale with 13 million miles in the system today. There's nothing left to prove, right? Uh, the USDOT looked at our data. We were a part of a shared ride travel analysis study that they published in 2021. Um, this is data driven. This is results driven. This is activity based costs. This is activity based rewards. So Mark, you've talked about companies. Yeah. You've talked about government. You've talked about the commuter. You've talked a lot about the community. One thing I think is missing, and I think is really important for brands to recognize an opportunity yeah. for Hitch. Now, in our app, when you start a ride, you're engaging with the app. We have opportunities for brands to share awareness, products and services and be part of the solution to put your brand in an excellent position because you could help reward people from making the great change in behavior that's good for all of us. And again, when they engage with the app to and from work, they're engaging with the app about four times a day, going in the app, out of the app, in the app, out of the app, going back and forth back from and work. Forth to home, yeah. And brands have an opportunity through sponsorship where you can reward as little as you want to reward for that behavior, or as much as you reward, and you may have a, you may be a brand that needs employees, and so you're going to use it as a, rec a recruiting mechanism. Mm -hmm. You may have a new product or service you want to showcase that would benefit. You may even, in fact, have a particular route that you want to put some some ad revenue in, so you can reach a commuting audience that you have been no other way to being able to reach those people. So mm -hmm. talk about what a sponsorship could mean in your own words. All right. So you're a marketing director. You're trying to figure out how to spend money and get a return on investment and be unique in a relationship with a community. So you're a marketing person and, and you're going to understand this. <clears throat> Hitch rewards is the Google AdWords for mobility. All right. We don't sell anybody's data. We sell outcomes. So if you are a marketing person and you want to speak to Murfreesboro, you want to speak to Springfield, uh, you want to speak to Gallatin commuters that are coming to Nashville and you want them to come to your coffee shop or whatever, or let's even get bigger than that. Let's say that you're one of the big Amazons, you're Oracle, you're a massive employer that's relocating and hiring and bringing people to Nashville and you want to be a part of the solution, you can sponsor Nashville. You can write a check and we'll take that money through the Greater Nashville Regional Council as a sponsor and distribute your rewards in the way that the government and you and your marketing needs and requirements are served best. You get to define it. So you're the Google AdWords. You're like the wizard and you're deciding how do I want to communicate to who and what do I want to communicate to them? And by the way, if they click on it, on the banner ad inside the app, it goes to the landing page that you design and you support that talks about why you're doing these things. <laughs>